welcome back to the uh, fourth episode on the series of the Cold War. Um, this video is basically just going to be an update video to show you what I've done uh, in the past month. Um, so what I've been doing is basically taking all of the drawings that we've made over the series and, uh, well, photocopying them and then mass producing them and cutting them out. So we have quite the number. After each drawing comes out of the photocopier, I'd cut it out and then what I'm doing here is I'm glue tacking it onto this sort of concrete coloured piece of cardboard. So it kind of represents a parade ground and they've all been glue tacked in line so they're sort of, you know, on the parade. Uh, and hopefully this should provide us a valid, valid excuse as to why I haven't been uploading in a while because... Uh, as you can see, we have a lot. So it is a four by 10 column of American vehicles, so 40, then 28 Soviet vehicles, followed by 20 Soviet nuclear weapons. So I'm just gonna quickly take you through everything that we've drawn individually, uh, and then talk about some other stuff at the end. So starting off on this side, this uh, A2, piece of cardboard we have the I guess Western military so this is just entirely um, the American vehicles so we have 10 of the M41 Walker Bulldogs that we drew at the very very beginning of the series followed by 10 of these trucks um, which I actually really like I really like the detail on them and then we have 20 of the US uh, Dodge vehicles so 10 without the canvas and then 10 with the canvas and uh, I think they look really nice with the detail they have. Personally I think my favourite is probably the uh, the Walker Bulldog because they just look really cool with the detail that they have on them. So yeah, I think a very nice collection, quite a, quite a big one but you know like a good mix of vehicles here. I would like to say, uh, I don't plan to make any more of these types of uh, vehicles, like I'm not going to be photocopying any more of the Dodges or the Walker Bulldogs because I've made 10 of them. I don't plan to make any more. I do plan to add on a lot to the American military, so with um, some American bombs but also some American rocket launchers and some better tanks because the even though this is a lovely tank, it is only a light tank, and so we probably need some like M M forty seven patterns or something just to, you know, give it some strength. So, but yeah, so that's it for the U S military. That took ages to cut out and ages to pre present. But uh, moving on to the Soviet military, probably uh, my favorite in terms of the colors. Like I really like this sort of uh, shade of green that I've used, but. So starting off with the um, rocket launchers, we have seven of them. See, this isn't, I should say, this isn't finished. I do, I need to get uh, three more rocket launchers and then three more of these types and then four of the big trucks. But I think the rocket launchers do look really nice. Probably the most detailed vehicle out of all the vehicles here. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty nice stuff. Then we have the... Uh, Gaz 69s. We only have 14 of them because I'm still waiting to upload some more. Um, so, seven without the canvas and then seven with the canvas. And then, probably what everyone seems to find as their favorite Soviet vehicle. Uh, me and my friend sort of nicknamed it the Big Boomer because it's massive. This, uh, like, artillery tow truck thing. So, we have six of those. So, I need to make some more of those as well. And then, Bit of a sneak peek into the upcoming video, you know, the one everyone voted on. Um, we were given the option either US nuclear weapons or some Soviet tanks and tank destroyers. This is the T-54. I'm going to obviously make a lot more of them. I need an extra nine to go on here. Um, the other vehicles I'm still working on, like I'm currently recording a video on the tank destroyer that we're adding to that video. But yeah, just to... Nice sneak peek. So now moving on to the Russian nuclear bombs. This is where the information about them sort of gets a, like you know quite lost because the uh, Soviet Union was quite sensitive about the information that they let out. So uh, I know some stuff about the RDS-4 here. I don't actually know how many were made. So 
I'm guessing a small amount, so that's why I've done four. Whereas I know that five of the RDS ones were stockpiled, so I've only made five. And with the RDS two, I also don't know how many they made, but I imagine still a small number. Then with the uh, RDS three, it just says it's the first ever mass-produced nuclear weapon, so. I would say, considering what the US had with their, like, mass-produced nuclear bombs, I'd say they'd probably have had around 50 to 300 of these. By the way, none of these are actually blue tacked down, I just quickly put them on the board, because uh, this is mainly just supposed to be for the vehicles, not the actual bombs, but I'm just, they're just there, so you can see what's been going on with the uh, nuclear arsenal. Now, the last thing I'd want to talk about, uh, this is called, well, I've called it the motherboard. It's essentially the, um, basically the piece of paper that I use to photocopy all of my stuff. So instead of putting all these individual drawings into the photocopier and photocopying them, I just blue tacked them onto a sheet. So you can just pick the sheet up and put the sheet in the photocopier. Now, as you can quite clearly see, the whole page is basically dominated by the Soviet Union because I stopped, um producing producing the american vehicles because well i didn't need any more because i'd made 10 of each type so i'm thinking for the next couple of episodes we'd probably need to focus on the american army because the balance of power is really in the soviets favor because they've had well they're about to have three videos uh, on them versus one video on the americans so um hopefully in the future we could probably get some more american vehicles on here or some american nuclear bombs because I put a lot of research into what they look like and I'd quite like to make a video on them sometime soon so yeah I'm also pondering on aircraft like I think it'd be nice to have some like long-range strategic bombers like maybe the b-52s but I don't know if that's too too advanced I might go a bit earlier to like some other earlier models but yeah that is everything that I've done so far so I do plan to make a lot more um so the series is going to be ex expanded and added to a lot in the future. But yeah, so that's all I have to say for this uh, episode on the series. Of course, uh, since we all voted, next episode will be the Soviet tanks and tank destroyer videos. Uh, if it's not too much to ask, I'd really quite like you to consider subscribing to the channel so that these videos are possible. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I still don't have an outro.